So you've, you've talked, you've talked from the pulpit, I know you've, you've told the story probably a lot, but you survived brain cancer, mm -hmm. right? Um, take me back to that moment, right? You, you actually mentioned it yeah. if, when the seizure happened. Yeah. What happened? What was, what was, what do you remember? Yeah, vividly? well, you know, most of what I remember about the actual seizure itself and that whole day is told to me as I don't have right. a, a lot of memory. So what I do remember is that the plan was for the day um, to go to my in-laws house. So they live a mile from us. And so when I got up, Lauren, you know, graciously just said, hey, rest tomorrow. You've been running hard, so just sleep in. And so I got up and poured myself a, a cup of coffee and um, Lauren was m preparing some dishes that we were going to take to my in-laws. And um, as I was walking to sit down, she asked me if I'd feed Nora. And uh, do you remember that? Or I do that? remember that. Okay. No, I, I'll tell you when I no longer remember. Yeah. So uh, she asked me to feed Nora her bottle. So I prepared the bottle and grabbed Nora, who was six months old at the time. And my other two children were in the living room watching morning cartoons and uh, kind of flipping between cartoons and the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, right? And um, uh, or whatever parade is there on, on Thanksgiving morning. And uh, we, uh, <laughs> we, I feed Nora and burp her, and then I take her to put her in her Johnny Jump Up, right? The little thing that hooks in the door frames and a uh, little death trap, if you ask me, but put her in that. And then I, I was walking back to sit in my chair. Um, a cup of coffee was over there, I was just walking back to sit down, and literally I woke up in the hospital. Um, I, didn't, I didn't feel anything coming on. I didn't, literally, I have no memory of thinking, oh, that's weird, my hand's asleep or anything. I mean, I just woke up in the hospital. And so um, when I came to, uh, Lauren, Lauren explained that um, I'd had a grand mal seizure, uh, that I'd literally, she heard, what she heard, because she was in the kitchen, was that the fireplace tools fell over and rattled. And so she kept waiting to hear me either get onto one of the children or tell the kids that it was okay. And she, she didn't hear anything, and, and my oldest, Audrey, um, you know, called for, hey, mom. And so when Lauren came in, she said, I turned the corner, and I was on the floor seizing. And so she turned me on the side, called 911. Um, and then I, I apparently started coming back into my senses after the paramedics got there and had put me on the gurney. Um, they were trying to strap me in the gurney. Apparently, I didn't care for that, so I punched one of them. At, at which, which I don't know what that says about what's going on <laughs> in me subconsciously, but um, they they popped me with something to knock me out, and that's what uh, kind of wiped the memory. Um, so I wake up in the hospital. Lauren kind of walks me through what just happened, and then doctor came in. I, I don't remember the CT scan or the MRI. They had already done both of those before I kind of came to, and the emergency room doctor kind of sc scooted his stool right up next to my uh, bed and just said, "Hey, we found a." a mass in your right frontal lobe. Um, and, and he said, you're gonna need to go see a neurosurgeon. He was really compassionate, really gracious, and, and just said, hey, this is about the size of a golf ball. It looks encapsulated. You're gonna need to go see a neurosurgeon. Now, at, here, this might sound hard to believe. It, like in that moment, I really was just like, okay, just get me out of it. I just wanna leave. It's Thanksgiving. I bit through my tongue. I'm miserable. All these people are at my in-laws, um, you know, not knowing whether or not to celebrate Thanksgiving or not. I mean, it was just kind of real weird. What do you do? Um, and so, so yeah, they finally released us and we went. I couldn't eat, I'd bit through my tongue, so I couldn't really eat anything that night. I just kind of drank some stuff and um, hung out and then that started the process.